Kudo.de. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Virtual Reality. I've got some breaking news for you. Again, <laughs> there's a new headset with an ultra high resolution with two displays, and this is called Vario VR1. This was just announced um, in the final version, and this headset has two displays. One normal display with a resolution of 1920 by 1440, that's a pretty normal resolution. But then there's a second display that will be mirrored into your view. And this mirror has only 1.7 inch um, display. So this is very small. This is a small display. This is just mirrored. And this small display, this very small display has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So this is a pixel per inch of 3147. Very, very high resolution. Um, but it's only in the center of your view. Okay. The, the rest of the view is the old display, I would say. And, and then you will... Uh, will ask you, do I see the difference of the two uh, displays? Is there a, an edge or something between the displays? And uh, the, the guys from Golem DE, they, they, um, they had the chance to try it and then they say, yes, you will see the difference between the two, uh, two uh, displays. You, you see when, the one, when one of the display ends and then the other is uh, visible. So this is not so good. Also, the, there are two different manufacturers from the displays, so we will also see a difference of the brightness or the colors as well. They will try to fix that a little bit, but um, this is the case. So um, the tracking is the lighthouse tracking by Valve. You know that for, with the lighthouse stations and the uh, controllers. So you will set up this headset in Steam VR. Also. Um, we have eye tracking integrated, so we also have auto IPD. When we put on the headset, the, the motors are uh, um, setting the lenses on the right IPD. That's great. Also, the the fi the, ca the cables are fiber, so you have a 10 meters cable available. This is this is really long, very very long. When we compare it to the Vive, it has five meters, and yeah, the, we can. It looks a little bit strange because the, there is a mirror. What the hell is going on with my mouse? Um, with the, the mirror here at the front. Very strange. Here you can see the, the Vive Pro and uh, the VR1. There's a very huge difference, difference in sharpness. Here you see the eye tracking. Also we have... Um, oh, he, he, he's very interesting. You can see Here's the, the, this is the normal displays and here's the little, the little displays and they go through a mirror and are mirrored to our view here. That's very interesting. But when you look at the lenses, this gets really annoying again because, wait, wait I, I forgot the number. It was very, very small. Here, here we go. Field of view, 87 degrees. So this is so ultra small. I think we will only see like like this. And so this is really nothing for gamers. Unfortunately not. It's one a 605 grams, so it's pretty heavy. I think like the Vive Pro or what was that again? And um, the next thing is, guys, this is very expensive. So the headset will cost you 6,000 euro 6,000 euro and I think uh, dollars as well plus 1,000 euro per year licensing and service fee <laughs> so this is this is crazy this is absolute crazy so of course this is only for simulation and training design architecture engineering and construction of course if you are a simulation fan and you have a lot of money you can try it but notice that this only has 80 uh, a little bit over 80 degrees feet of view this is nothing this is ultra small <laughs> even my cardboard has a, a larger feet of view i think <laughs> however guys that was the news the vario vr1 i hope you liked it if yes give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality see ya 
www.wurde.de.